Hey readers, we've already talked about building good reading habits, ditching those old habits, and building these new good habits to grow as readers. We've talked about taking a sneak peek at the beginning, rereading to smooth out our voice, scooping up words and phrases, and rereading to see more. Well, today I want to teach you that we can also have good habits when we start tackling tricky words. Let me show you what I mean. So some of our good habits for solving hard words might be familiar. So one of the ways that we can tackle a hard word is to check the picture. We already know that we can use the pictures to take a sneak peek and help us understand what's happening in the story, but we can also use the pictures to help us solve and tackle hard words. Let me show you what I mean by that. I was reading my book, Cat Days, the other day, and I got stuck on some words. And instead of picking back up my bad habits, like, mom, what's this word? Or mumbling over the word or skipping it completely, I stopped and I thought, I could check the picture. Let me show you what I mean in this book, Cat Days. So on this page, I read cat sits on the, hmm, and I got a little nervous. I saw that X, which makes me a little nervous, but I didn't freak out. I didn't ask for help. I said, hmm, could I check the picture? So I looked at the picture and I noticed the cat is sitting on a box. And then I looked back down at my word, starts with B. Wait, I think this is a word I could even tap out. B box, box, that sits on the box. See how I did that? I looked at the picture, I looked back at my word, and I did a cross check to make sure that they matched. Watch how I did it on this page too. Again, I started reading, cat sits on the, Mm. Uh oh. Didn't freak out. I looked up at the picture. He's sitting on a car. I looked back at the word. Would this be car? Yeah, cat sits on the car. That makes sense. The so readers, do you see how I did that? I didn't get nervous. I didn't skip. I didn't ask for help. I stopped and I picked up my good habit of looking at the picture to help me solve a tricky word. Off you go readers, I can't wait to see what great strategies you use today.